I know that a lot of teachers and administrators, principals right now are having just a really tough time trying to figure out what's going to happen come fall. And I found myself very grateful for the words of college president Adam Weinberger at Collins College at Denison. He addressed parents and students in a video and he said, um, we're ready. We're ready. Some will be at home and some will be in college, but those who come back are going to come back alert and eager and ready. And it's going to be different. But different doesn't mean it can't be great. But the greatness will come from the sacrifice of knowing that we did this together. We stepped into a difficult and challenging space and we did this together. We weren't always doing what we wanted to do, but we were doing what was right to do. And I appreciated the acknowledgement that there will be sacrifice, that it will not be easy, but there will be great experiences that come from when a community pulls together and begins to look out for each other and holds each other in honor and care. Jesus said, whoever wants to be greatest among you must be your servant. And the greatest of all will be the servant of all. For even I, the Messiah, did not come to be served, but to serve and to give my life as a ransom for many. That kind of service, that kind of sacrifice is the model that we see in Jesus, who did not come to simply be served or to receive, but to give and to offer and to save all in love. This Sunday, we're going to be talking about Romans chapter 12, 1 through 3. Paul says, by the mercies of God, I appeal to you to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice to God, holy and acceptable to God. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This invitation that Paul gives to all of us saying, offer your life as a sacrifice to God. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed. That's the experience of sacrifice. It means we may not be doing what we want to do, but we're doing what is right, what is true, what is noble, what is honorable, what is worthy of praise. That's the stuff that then guides our life, not just as individuals, but as a community that's willing to sacrifice for each other, keep our eyes open for where the needs are, and we become eager and ready to step into greatness based on the sacrifices that we make modeled after Jesus who came and served and gave his life. So hang in there. We're in this together, and God has accompanied all of us.